Today is Equal Pay Day, symbolizing how far into the year most women have to work in order to earn as much as the average man. It's a reminder of the persistent income inequality in this country between men and women. Tonight, News 10's Mars Anderson speaks with experts about this day and how one businesswoman, business owner, hasn't let financial barriers get in her way. Heather Deaton has owned Mason Muffler and Brake for almost 20 years. During that time, she's faced challenges in the male-dominated auto industry. If men don't uh, appreciate my knowledge, maybe, or they don't, you know, don't think I can communicate or understand about a vehicle and the parts that's needed or things that I order. Deborah Vagans from Equal Rights Advocates says some women can experience workplace discrimination from customers as well as employers. But when women are in service industry, retail industries, they're also dependent on clients and customers that also can have their views and particular biases against women. Vegan says that discrimination could reflect in pay. She says Equal Pay Day brings awareness to the wage gap that some women experience. According to the 2020, 2022 census data, when looking at women working full time year round, they make 84 cents on the dollar compared to men. Vagan says in some cases, the gap is across various industries, regardless of occupation or education. While Deaton is an entrepreneur, she says women are treated differently when receiving auto service and she's happy to offer some relief. I think women are happy to hear my voice on the phone and to know that a woman is here. Um, unfortunately, I think women get uh, abused in this uh, industry as in in their pocketbook you know for repairs that aren't needed representation is one solution vegans offered placing more women in leadership similar to Deaton's and offering policies that level the field for all employees women will come and say I don't know anything about a car and to see a woman who does I think it makes them more comfortable leading to fair compensation and equal opportunity for all in Lansing Mars Anderson News 10 a new analysis by the National Women's Law Center says a woman that is just starting her career in Michigan will earn about $465,000 less over her 40-year career compared to a man.